this speech today is the owl or the man. Just because an idea sounds like a good idea doesn't necessarily mean it is. We are created by God to have dominion over this earth. We also need to be good stewards of what God has given us. We can't always let the needs of the environment outweigh the needs of man. Well, I'm going to show to you that the protection of the spotted owl, owl which has caused high unemployment and has ruined the tax bases of many in southern Oregon and Washington counties, and the use of ethanol is not always a good thing to do. Ethanol is not a cost-effective alternative to, pro to petroleum products. I'm also going to show to you that being living in southern Oregon, how the protection of spotted owl has severely impacted the economy in that area. Many people believe that using ethanol is a good thing. Now, a gallon of E85 that we find in the pumps here is about the same cost it is as a gallon of petrol gasoline. Ethanol contains less energy. Corn requires 29% more energy than is produced by the ethanol. Now we can switch to other sources, but soybeans <coughs> takes 27% more and sunflowers would be 118% more. Ethanol does not help the environment. Actually, it increases the CO the CO2 level more than fossil fuels. We also supplement the ethanol at 45 cents a gallon in our tax dollars. Now, the spotted owl has caused high unemployment. A little background on this, Bill Clinton passed a law that put the spotted owl in, in, on the Endangered Species Act in 1993. Now, the spotted owl has been used as a scapegoat for the fight that's been going on between environmentalists and the government I mean, and loggers for years. Now, federal judge William Dwyer said that the Forest Service had not implemented the bill that Clinton had passed. So his decision forbade the sale of any timber in the spotted owl habitat, which is Northern California, <coughs> Oregon, and Washington. Now, his, that decision devastated the, the, the economy of, of many rural counties. 135 sawmills were closed and there was 25% unemployment in many of the rural counties. And it severely cut the tax base of those counties. The counties depended on the receipts from tax dollars to support their, their program. So the federal government came out with this program to offset the, sim the timber receipts. So it's called the Secure Rural School and Community Self-Determination Act. Doesn't that sound like a government program? <laughs> The taxpayers shelled out about $365 million, but this is the last year of those payments. Josephine County, where I am from, the county is broke. A jail built to hold 150 inmates can now only hold 10 to 20 because of staffing levels. 75 county employees were laid off. All the libraries are closed. The juvenile detention center is also, is also closed. Now, the federal government controls 57% of the land in that county, so it makes it very hard for them to find any other ways to, to find a tax base. Now, Josephine County has lost 68% of its funding. Douglas County, 65, which is just north of Lowther, just north of, of Josephine County, and Curry County along the southern Oregon coast lost 63% of its funding due to the protection of the spotted owl. Now, these counties will become insolvent. Forest fires have also decimated much of the forest in that area due to not thinning of the trees. Foresters understand how to manage the forest. Forests should come under state control. Now, protection of the spotted owl should not ruin the livelihood of many people. We need to be good stewards of what God has given us dominion over, but not at the expense of so many families. We should not have to use tax dollars to make up for revenue lost by not harvesting our forests. Thank you.